Hi everyone, it's me Ilian from DM Trading Bulgaria and today I would like to share with you one of the trading plans I've been following uh, alongside of course with our subscribers. If you want to receive a more detailed technical analysis on each of the plans uh, we follow like each week or a few weeks, uh, you can always go to our website or uh, you can use the link below this video to subscribe to our monthly newsletter where you receive each day uh, our trading plans, uh, the scenario we expect to happen and you also can opt in for live signups based on those scenarios which we share uh, through Telegram. Now without further ado let's get started with the plan. I I just want to add that I'm going to show you all the trading plans uh, which we are following uh, throughout last week and of course this week. Uh, I'm going to show you the daily time frame and what is the main idea of the plan. Of course in the newsletter uh, we tend to look at a few different time frames and uh, make a more in-depth analysis and one of uh, those plans we'll pick for today's free uh, technical analysis. Let's get started. Now, first, the first plan uh, we uh, actually continue following is the uh, Euro, uh, I'm sorry, USD, Japanese Yen currency pair. Uh, we've been following this plan basically from uh, somewhere here, actually even a bit earlier from somewhere here. And uh, the main idea behind the plan was to look for buy opportunities. This is the daily time frame. As you can see, uh, the price remains in this uh, uh, uptrend channel and uh, is still uh, far away from this resistance area, which we expect it to reach in the upcoming weeks, maybe. Uh, I shared uh, this trading plan uh, two weeks ago uh, on DH4. I just want to go to the H4 actually to show you where I shared the plan and what happened after that. Uh, you can see the triangle here. Uh, the plan was shared to look for buy positions and you can see how uh, the price developed after that. I hope you caught that. Now uh, we continue looking here for buy opportunities. We also look for sell opportunities um, and this all happens within our uh, newsletter. Now let's get uh, moving the next plan and actually the plan we will be looking at today will be on the GBP USD currency pair on the daily time frame. Um, here uh, we can see that after this huge wave up uh, the price quickly retraced below uh, this previous uh, top and uh, this confirmed to us that we have already entered into a downtrend so our uh, main goal here is to look for sell opportunities from this uh, previous daily top or this uh, zone which should act as a resistance until this next strong support which was the bottom of this correction here. Uh, I'll go into further details on this plan, I just want to show you the other plans we are following. Uh, this is the NSD USD, we continue following that plan. Uh, we started following it uh, when the price was somewhere here. As you can see, uh, there, the daily range continues. Uh, we had some nice opportunities to take advantage of, especially last week with this uh, huge uh, downtrend move here. So again, uh, in further details, we looked at this plan in our newsletter and uh, traded it accordingly. Uh, and a short-term trading plan which I actually shared with our uh, subscribers today is this one. This is the H1 time frame of the CAD Japanese Yen currency pair and my expectations here are for this uh, uptrend channel to be finished quite soon and for the price to move down back to probably that bottom here. Now let's get back to our free plan. So on daily, as we said, uh, <clears throat> the price after making this uh, uptrend move here uh, and breaking this previous top, uh, the price quickly retraced below it, confirming that the uh, bullish momentum is exhausted and we might see uh, a downtrend continuing. 
continu continuation of this downtrend. So this was not just a correction. Uh, yesterday we had some uh, basically extreme uh, uh, volatility because of the Brexit deal and actually the uncertainty uh, behind it. Uh, now, as you can see, the price stays here uh, inside that previous daily top uh, area, uh, which is which should act as a resistance. And as I said, we expect from here the downtrend to continue. Actually, we managed to catch uh, some nice profit around 100 pips uh, yesterday here with a live sign uh, I shared with uh, our customers. Now let's go to the H4 and see what could happen. I'll just delete that. So, as I said yesterday, we had a huge drop here, uh, caused not only because uh, the price bounced from this uh, resistance area, but also caused by the uncertainty around the Brexit deal. Uh, after that, we had a pullback overnight and so far today, and the price now is back inside this area here from where uh, we will be looking for, uh, of course, sell opportunities. Uh, the first thing I want to mark here is this previous sort of uh, consolidation right here. It's a bit huge, but as you can see, um, although the price went above it, uh, stayed there for a while, so this uh, top of this uh, consolidation actually acted as uh, a support, then the price just went below that area and currently we trace back inside it, but I don't expect the price to go above that uh, line here or that level at around 132. Uh, this is also inside this resistance area. Now, uh, going a bit back, we can see we had this uh, consolidation here, which seems to act uh, sort of as a resistance. You can see that this wave down stopped inside that area actually, and the pullback started from there. But I expect this pullback actually to be finished uh, quite soon and the price to uh, form a new uh, downtrend wave, at least to uh, somewhere here, like around this bottom at first. So this will be uh, actually our main, uh, our first target. Uh, let me just mark it. So this will be our first target. Okay. And of course, our second target would be this next strong support, which is uh, the place where uh, the daily downtrend finished and a new uptrend began. So uh, actually we are in a quite good spot here uh, since uh, if a new downtrend wave starts it will be from somewhere well, where we are at the moment which uh, could give us quite a nice uh, position at the beginning of a new wave down. Uh, as I said, I don't expect the price to go above this uh, level 132 or above this uh, resistance area. Uh, if it does, of course, we won't follow up on that plan. But uh, if it doesn't and it uh, goes according to our scenario, we can have a nice opportunity to enter here. Let me check the M30 time frame. as our entry uh, might be placed there. So it's a bit hard to uh, find a good spot here because you can see how the price actually uh, behaved, went down, then went back up, went down, went up, and so on. But actually, if we take a look, a closer look here, we can see that we had sort of a uh, stop here, you can see that, uh, and also the price, although the price went up outside of that area, now it seems to be uh, retracing back inside, and if we go back a little, you can see this, actually this level is uh, quite good. I mean, we had a few reactions there, uh, let me just show you 
So we had a reaction here from this level. We had sort of a reaction here and even here. And we had a reaction here and we had a reaction here after it was broken. So I do expect for the price to uh, retrace below it, uh, maybe make a short correction back to it and then to continue further down. So uh, I'll be looking for uh, possible entries. Uh, if we are looking at the M30 somewhere around here. Uh, after the price goes below uh, those previous uh, kind of tops. This is it on this plan. Of course, uh, you can try and look for an entry entry on the H4. Uh, for example, if we see uh, an, a bullish, a bearish engulfing here, it could be a nice entry with a stop loss placed above this 132 level or like around here. Uh, really depends, but overall this will be the plan on this pair. I will be looking for sell opportunities in the upcoming weeks. Of course, if our scenario uh, starts to develop as we expect, uh, join us on Telegram, on our free channel if you haven't, through the link below this video. And uh, also you can go to Facebook and our discussion group uh, where you can share uh, your ideas, your trades, looking for opinion or comment on uh, one of our trades. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the little bell button. Also, some upvotes uh, really uh, help us grow as a community and as a channel and uh, hopefully uh, we will continue helping you uh, progress in your trading career. Thank you very much and I wish you a profitable week.